we're underneath the vehicle on the home stretch here we really are so we have our post cat catalytic converter o2 sensors we have to get those plumbed up to the factory wire harness so you don't have to cut or solder or extend any wires we our system comes complete with plug and play harnesses okay they're the same size same length no problem um, on the passenger side we're going to go white to white on the driver's side black to black on the driver's side okay real simple um, the passenger side one maybe take 30 seconds to a minute to install the driver's side you're going to get it in there route it zip tie it route it along up by the steering get it plugged into the black connector not too difficult maybe five minutes there the, drive, the passenger side I'll show you pretty quickly let's do it so we got our white side over here going to the passenger side first thing we do is take the harness and I'm going to make sure I got the right end, of course, because they're opposites. So it goes here. I'm going to reach over and I'm going to hand this over the top of the transmission and get it to the area where I need to get it plugged in. So real simple. Got it. Just that simple. Okay. Now I can reach here, plug her in. Get it up over the top. I'm going to reach over here, straight up plug it right in and I'll just use a zip tie to secure that right over here all right next one's gonna be our driver side make sure I got the right end I'll route it here up over some of this to keep it out of the way and then we'll route it forward Okay, now this is going to go up. Now I'll take the next couple minutes to secure this, route it, and tie it. And then at the same time, you want to plug your primary O2 sensors in as well. On the driver's side, primary, which means the one closest to the engine, is going to be white on the driver's side, black on the passenger side. Very important. So we're pretty much wrapping up the bottom. We've gone back through, we've double checked everything. Now, one thing I want to show you is the transmission lines. The transmission lines I recommend leaving right where they're at. The pipes are going to touch them. Get your pipes on, get the thing done. In the last step, pretty much the last step, I go back and then I move my transmission lines. They're all aluminum. They got a jiffy type fitting, it's no problem. And you're just going to massage them, just move them just a little bit to give yourself clearance around the pipes and orientate them. We're going to go with the camera. We're going to show you what that looks like. But, you know, doing it is very simple. You know, you're just going to put it here and you're just going to move it just a little bit, you know. Just give it a little bit. Put it here. Give it a little bit. Move it. And see what I've done here. Literally, two, three minutes went around all of them. And you can see how well it just clearances everything. No reason to change the lines. They absolutely fit. No overheating problems. No transmission temperature problems nothing like that another thing while the camera goes around I want you to take a look look at the pipes look at the fit look at the finish a lot of work's gone through to make this turbo kit fit take a look at how all this is going to route so you can see it and picture it how your suspension is going to be doesn't interfere with lift kits and things along that line Look back in the back of this area. You can see how it comes through here. I mean, we're talking about on this section right here, that might be a quarter of an inch. This is the difficulty of getting a quality pipe and a quality product to fit this vehicle. Because it is, it truly is the best Jeep Wrangler ever made. And we want to make sure we add to that and not take away from any of that. Okay, you see the bends come down here. Look at this wraparound. Change the oil right through here. Right back this way, you see a catalytic converter, a high flow catalytic converter on this side. Actually adds clearance for the drive shaft. Bigger lifts, more flex, more extension. We got all the pipes on, we've double checked all of our work. We're gonna go back now, last step with the pipes. You gotta get all the handprints, any grease, any lubricant, anything that's on the pipe on the outside, you gotta get it off. 
If you don't, when you start it up, as soon as it warms up, whatever's in, imprinted on the outside of the pipe is going to impregnate itself right to the pipe. Literally, if you get a handprint, by the time it heats up and cools back down, you're going to have a hamper on the pipe forever. So I use brake cleaner, and of course, I don't use any like shop towels, red rags, anything like that. I use regular paper towel. You can use alcohol, like denatured alcohol, or something like that. Brake cleaner. And then just go around, wipe down each of the pipes. Okay, so I got my spill free back on the radiator here. My coolant level's up above the engine and the heater core. I just installed six quarts of Mobile One full synthetic motor oil, and we're pretty much ready for startup. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in the Jeep, I'm gonna start it up, I'm gonna let it run at idle for about five seconds. Then I'm gonna shut it off, come back out here, using my flashlight, I'm gonna look around. Make sure there's no fuel leaks, no fuel smells, no coolant leaks, no engine oil leaks, no transmission fluid leaks, nothing's leaking. I'm gonna look from the top, I'm gonna raise the vehicle up, look from the bottom. Let's fire it up, about five seconds. Okay, I'm inspecting all my fittings. Going through here, I'm checking. No fuel leaks, if you can see some of my fuel injectors here, make sure there's no fuel leaking out there, so that means I got those installed good. Nothing. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna put the vehicle in the air. I'm gonna look from the bottom. Ball's good. I'm gonna lower it down, start it up, and I'm gonna let it idle. I'm gonna let it idle till my thermostat opens up. My water gets nice and hot. I'm gonna plug it, plug off my radiator cap, shut it off, check my oil level, um, all those things here and uh, we're going to reinstall the engine cover. Let's do it.